lot of people did in that house are doing. Um, you know, not good news today, not good news from both the north and the south today. Unfortunately, one person has died, the second person has died in Northern Ireland, bringing the cases up in Northern Ireland to 128 uh, for today. Um, you know, obviously, obviously very sad, very upset, and you know, we sympathise with the family. It's, it's devastating, it's devastating that, you know, people are dying, and it's hard to comprehend you know, how this virus, you know, is able to kill so many people. Um, but our condolences to the family. So in total in Northern Ireland there's 121 cases in Northern Ireland. And on to the Republic of Ireland and in the total on the island of Ireland just to say there's one there's nine hundred and thirteen cases on the island of Ireland total, north and south. Which is a huge number for three weeks. It's three weeks now since the this virus um came out of these shores. Um and that's a lot for three weeks, and I'm not gonna lie, that is a lot, it's nearly a thousand in three weeks. Um Unfortunately, um, the Republic the Republic of Ireland figures one hundred twenty one cases today. Uh, yesterday was down. Today it went up a bit. Um, but still, I'm thankful that it's not as high as it was towards the one hundred. It was hundred ninety one towards the, and that was very very high. That was extremely high, and took everybody by surprise. Um, and unfortunately, another person has died in the Republic. Um, of this virus again, bringing the total up to four who have died in. In the Republic, and it's just you know it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to hear because especially. You know these are generally older people, um, with underlying health problems, and you know it's devastating. It's just devastating for the families, and it's you know it's hard. It's very very hard, um, so obviously you know our condolences and it's terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, forty thousand people are waiting for tests around the country, um, across the whole Republic of Ireland. There are forty thousand people waiting. Uh, the more test centers going up than ever before. Um, you know, in County Cavan, there's a few more being set up. The one in Monaghan's being set up at the moment in time. I don't know how to, I don't have the location of it now, but, um, you know, the local, I can't say the ones in Cavan either, but there's four or five being set up in Cavan at the moment. Uh, two have been in operation for the last three days. Um, you know, I can't say at the moment because I don't want people stoning them, but um, I'm sure that people understand that. Um, you know, work with the doctors, work with the HC, you know, we'll get through this. Uh, we will get through this, of course we will. But I'm saying to people, if you are waiting for testing, these 40,000, if you are waiting for testing, um, you know, act like you have the virus. I know it's a very stupid thing and a very upsetting thing to have to say. Um, but, you know, please isolate yourself because it could be, you could have the virus, you could not. I'm just saying people take precautions if you are waiting for testing, you know, try and limit social activity as much as possible. You know, obviously people around you and everything, please uh, just do that because we need to work together. Everybody has to work together. Um, unfortunately, I have to report too that somebody actually uh, in the facility, in, my, in, the, in this community where I am at the moment, but unfortunately there's somebody in this facility has been tested um, and I'm waiting for results back. Um, but it's not confirmed that the person will have it, I will update you tomorrow on it. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm positive to say that you know, the, the, the most likely mo might not happen. I'm very confident to say they might not happen. Um, for one reason and one reason only, because they've been isolated for the last, um, you know, last week, which is great, because they haven't been, they haven't seen anybody, and I don't know how to have it, uh, if they did have it, let's just say, and I don't know why I'm even talking about this, but I just said away is it up, um, but you know, hopefully, hopefully everything goes okay with her, because I am worried about it, I'm, I know the person, um, and I am worried, and that's why I'm saying about it, um, so please, you know, take the stress of the like this person isolated for a week, um. But yeah, take the strain of the health service and everything that I walk with each other and keep social distancing and please, you know, follow the advice, wash your hands, simple things, you know, make a big difference. And that's the word that we need to get out. Simple things do make a big, very big difference. And if we walk together, if we walk together as a community, as a culture, we get through this and we get through this and we can no limit the number of um, people getting uh, this, the disease. As we've seen, you know, it's, it's gone down a lot since toast, which is a good thing, meaning that people are starting to listen. But you know, we need to do harder, we need to walk harder. Um because still nine hundred and thirteen is still a high number for the whole Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland included. Um but obviously, you know, again ter you know, it's terrible news in Spain and Italy. Um but obviously, you know, we sympathize absolutely one hundred and ten percent with them because it's just it's a dreadful thing. It's a dread this coronavirus really is just determined to disrupt every country in the world and disrupt every every civilization, every 
every person's life and it has done. Uh, but we will get through this, and I say this to the people in this people of Spain, we will get through this. The two good, our three countries will get through this. Uh, it might take a while, it will take a while. Unfortunately, many people probably will die. As, as already has happened, sadly. But you know, we will get through this, and we will persevere. But it might just take a while. But I, I'm positive that you know we can get through this, because we can get through a lot of war. We have come through a lot of wars throughout our history. The Spanish flu was a lot. It's terrible, it's very terrible. I know this is kind of bad time to be talking about it, but you know what I'm saying to people our grandfathers were through a lot worse and you know it might not sound very reassuring, but you know, I'm just trying to say to people, you know, we can fight this. Of course we can. Um uh, but I'm saying to people, you know, please follow a uh, small advice makes a big difference. Like washing your hands, you know, living and social, you know, keep your distance in other words. Um you there there are simple things, you know, that can help. Uh, the HSC and help the country and help you yourself. Um, so please just, you know, keep in mind them small things. Small things do make a big difference at the moment. Um, and we all need to work together. We all do need to work together. Because if, if we're going to limit the spread, we have to work together by um, keeping apart from each other. It's an always a weird way of kind of putting it, but we all need to work together. Um, and we are working together. I've seen communities coming together. It's great to see. Um, but, you know, we have to try and keep this number down. And, you know, good... It's some good and at least some I suppose positive to take out of this, you know, that there is gone down, the numbers have gone down a small bit. Um from last Thursday, which is you know, some case, small, small positive. It's a small positive. I know people probably be saying, you know, there's still people infected. But you have to small take a small, small positive out of a negative. Um because you know, we have to look for some kind of positive at the moment, you know, because you know, in Italy the numbers will just keep going up and up and up and up and up and up. Um and you know, there's no positive, there's no, there's no positive to take out of it. At least in this country, we have some kind of positive at the moment to take out of it. I know that's, uh, that's, and I hate myself for saying it, but, you know, it's some kind of small, small clips of, you know, something of hope, I suppose you can use that word. Um, but please, you know, work with us. Work with us as a government, and then work with us as a local authority, and work with us as a HSE, and we will get through this. And I, and I, and I say that for a fact to everybody, we will get through this. Thank you.